All right, each one of these blocks has a bullet in it. And so I'm asking the question, how many inches of purple heart, black walnut, and red oak does it take to stop a nine millimeter bullet at approximately seven feet away? I guess the theme of this video is seven because I'm cutting each piece seven inches by seven inches. Now these are four quarter boards that I got from a local hardwood store. They are kiln dried. So trying to make everything as you know equal as possible. I put gloves on here because you know Purple Heart is really bad about splintering, especially with all the cross cuts that I just did. And you know, I'm just guessing here uh, how many inches I need. I was assuming that it would take about three inches of Purple Heart, that's just a guess, and about five inches of red oak and black walnut. Comment below, what, what are you guessing? Before you, you find out how many inches of each it takes, uh, comment below how many inches, or use the metric system, <laughs> you think of each of these woods uh, it will take. And... All right, so I'm using a SIG uh, P320, and I'm using uh, the bullets here. Those are hollow points, I'm not using that using these so this is using these bullets 115 grain nine millimeter so here I've got a two inch thick piece of red oak that I'm going to test out first before I actually hit the others this is mainly to make sure my aim is right because I haven't shot in a while I don't know if you could hear that, but I said it went through, so I was a little worried that I didn't have enough wood and that I was going to uh, you know, have to go back to the drawing board. Of course, I'm starting with the cheapest wood, the stack of red oak, to make sure I'm okay. My wife and three of my four daughters are out there uh, watching and supporting. Yep, did not go through. Cool, good. Now purple heart. All right, so my guess is five inches on the walnut, I mean the red oak walnut, and three inches on the purple heart. So let's see. And I can see a crack. It cracked it here. So of course we've got the first one, and I'll measure how many inches. Got that second one. Oh, there it is. There's the bullet. You can see it there. That is pretty cool. So let's see how many inches that was. And then it dented the next one. Man, so that's just like a little over three inches. That, that's uh, way better than I thought it was going to be. So we are at approximately, oh, less than three inches because these are less than three inches a piece. So I would say we've got two inches and 15 sixteenths. All right, so that's the red oak. Two, and let me just make sure, you know what they say, measure twice, two inches and 15 sixteenths. That was fun. Now, I believe the walnut should be about the same. There you see where it went in, didn't come out. I don't see any cracks in the walnut.
So we've got one, two, uh-oh, three. That looks like it right there. Oh, the bullet. Oh man, that's that's actually really cool looking. See that? It didn't go through this board, but you can see the back of the bullet. So there we've got, I mean it really, it should be almost to the end of this one. So if that's the case, Oh man, we got almost four inches. So we've got three inches and 15 sixteenths. I don't want my board to fall. All right, now Purple Heart. You can see it went in, it cracked this one, but not all the way through. Did not go through the back there. Hold on, let me get this off. Get these down so this board doesn't flip that I'm on. Let me move this uh, black walnut over. All right. Here we've got one. Pretty cool looking. Ooh, cracked that one really well. Ooh, these are stuck together. Man, I can't get that. I think I've got a hammer with me. Oh wow. So it definitely made it through that one. Here, let me get let you see a closer shot of this. There we go. So it's through that, how many is that? Second board and into the third board. So probably not too far in it. All right, so this would be Probably about probably about two inches and one eighth. So that's impressive. Two inches and one eighth. Let me know if there are any woods you'd like me to test out. Like and subscribe.